Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, we're going to be going over the EVGA XC RTX 3060 GPU. All right, This GPU is primarily made for gamers, and NVIDIA wants to keep it that way because they're tired of miners taking up all their inventory, so to speak, even though it's really the scalpers and bots that's doing that. But that's neither here or there. We're going to be talking about the mining performance of this GPU. If you haven't checked it out already, check out the link in the description to my live stream where I was testing some performance. This card is a pretty decent card. And with Nvidia locking it down at the BIOS level, not the driver level, right? So you're not people uh, spreading information about, you know, the latest drivers impacting or reducing your hash rate on other Nvidia GPUs is not accurate, okay? Just want to let you know that and clear that up. Son of a Tech even talked about that. That is not accurate. This card is locked at the BIOS level. So you're going to see a 50% reduction in performance while mining on this card. However, it's still a good card primarily for, let's say, a user who games mostly, but then at night or something when the system is idle or not being utilized, it will mine some cryptocurrency. The good news is not all algos are locked. Not all algorithms are locked. It's primarily the big ones. But stay tuned. We'll go into that for more information. Let's talk about specs. So it's a 3060. RTX 3060 comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6, not 6X. It has 3584 CUDA cores. Its boost clock is 1882. Um, it has a, a, an effective memory uh, clock of 1500. Uh, 15,000 excuse me megahertz and its memory bandwidth is 360 I believe the bus is 192 though and that's one of the reasons why it performs a little bit less than what you know the 3060 Ti and stuff like that if the bus was the same and it had this much memory we probably see a little bit more performance but Nvidia designed this card to be primarily for the gamers trying to mitigate the miners which is confusing to me because it's not really the miners that are a problem. Yes, there's some corporations and individuals out there who are buying these things at the pallet load directly to, from distributor that the gamers are upset at. However, it's not the at-home or mid-scale miners that are the problem. It's the bots, the scalpers that are really eating up all the inventory. And when we have such a low supply and a high demand, it's just making the prices go absolutely nuts. But this card is tiny and it's perfect for a mini ITX or a small fa form factor build. If you see this picture here, we're comparing it as far as size against an RX 6800, the MSI Trio specifically, and it's a very tiny card so it can fit in most ITX builds. Now I haven't verified that the back of the GPU contains memory thermal pads, but I've seen no memory thermal throttling whatsoever with this GPU. Unfortunately, hardware info does not show the memory temperatures like on the rest of the 3000 series maybe there'll be an update that will but this is a, a fairly substantial little card um, and i think it's perfectly good for the gamer that wants to mine every once in a while now let's find out what algos are what right now i would tell you off rip if you are mining with this card the next highest algorithm that you can mine on is going to be conflux all right so the next highest algorithm that you can mine on is going to be Conflux. Now the numbers are not right because it's off of the 3060 Ti, but if we were to mine Conflux, we would not be handicapped by the 50% uh, performance reduction and we would still make close to $4 a day. So $3.80 or $3.60 all the way up to like $4.10, $4.20. That is still pretty decent and that brings our ROI down to about right under 100 days from what my current testing has been and that's currently right now at time of filming at current pricing okay things will change obviously when the prices change in market volatility but not all algorithms are locked and I will have a reddit post linked down in the description below unfortunately I'm working with the moderators because there seems to be an issue every time I post where there's something in it even though I removed any code or or scripts or anything like that that's causing it to be locked. So I am working with the moderators to fix this. I'm already in discussion with them. Um, and I will have that link below. But if you can't find it, I will also have a link to it on VosCoinTalk.com, which is VosCoin's form in which we can share data information, talk about our build and stuff like that. You should definitely sign up and check it out in the description below. 
the numbers that I gotten so far is the best hash rate for Ethereum was 25.95, almost 26 mega hash, dropping a TDP down to 58%, which is the lowest we can go. The highest TDP percentage we can go up to is 111, and we're sipping 100 watts at that lowest one. Now, yes, you can push the memory up to 1500, but just like we've seen with the other GPUs, we start to have issues, rejected shares, maybe it crashes, whatever, driver resets. So I wouldn't push the memory that high. 1250 seems to be the sweet sweet spot, but really depending on the GPU, like my 3060 Ti, uh, when I push 1250, it would run good for a little bit, then crash. So I had to back it down to like 1180 or 1150. Uh, same thing with the 3080. So long term, 24 seven mining, you might have to back down this 1200 mem, but you still be around 26 mega hash or they're about sipping at 100 watts. On T-Rex miner, the best one that I found was 22.59 mega hash. Uh, plus 250 on the core, plus 1000 on the mem, TDP set at 80 and 135 watts. So at stock, you would be drawing, depending on the algo, because as you can see, Ethereum, the max power that it would draw was 128, right? Because the GPU is being locked at the BIOS level. It's detecting that you're mining Ethereum. It's building the DAG, and it's like, nope, not going to get it. So when we, when we run um, stock, and we're able we're not locked we're pulling 170 watts if you drop the tdp down to 80 percent you're going to be expecting 135 if you drop the tdp all the way down to 58 percent you should expect 100 watts so the best mega hash that i got for octopus or conflux is 45 mega hash with plus 250 on the core plus 1500 on the mem tdp of 80 percent and again sipping 135 watts on Firo or z coin rebrand 2.676 mega hash plus 100 on the core plus 400 on the mem tdp of 80 percent same wattage so the tdp and wattage that i'm going to go through is going to be the same for all of these real quick because i don't want to take up too much of your time and you can obviously read so check out the link in the description but you can tune these gpus a little bit better i'm just showing with my data if you add a little bit of core or a little bit of mem what you're going to get compared to stock and then you can fine tune what you've seen with other algos or other cards on these algos. So Veal, which is a Prog Pal coin, 21.97 mega hash, um, and again the same wattage and everything, uh, with plus 100 core, plus 400 mem. Uh, 0.46 grass with Kaka 232 or Grin, and on G minor um, again in the latest version, Beam Beam hash, 21.3 souls. When I dropped it down to 58% TDP at 120 watts, so that was a little bit more than the 100 watts that it was sipping on before, but it was still getting pretty decent hash rate. If you want, bump up the TDP to 80% and get 22.2 souls at 135 watts. Bid tube cash, 7.25 grass, um, at, you know, with the plus 100 on the core, plus 400 mm, 135 watts. Swap, 7.28 grass. Uh, same wattage, power, everything. Uh, Aeon, the best that I found was not the bottom one, but 258 souls at 80% TDP. And I have a typo here. It's not 50% at the bottom one. It's 58. That's the lowest you can go. Plus 100 in a core, plus 1250 on the mem, 135 watts. A Mimble Wimble coin, Kaka 231, because it's 12 gigabytes of memory, we were able to get 1.26 graphs. Um, with the same 100 core, 400 mem, 135 watts. Zell hash, we saw we got 36.2 souls with the same power, everything. And an MB miner, uh, which is a prog pal, or excuse me, MB miner mining zero, which is a prog pal variant, um, 21.46 mega hash at the same power draw and everything. Now, there's going to be some random pictures down here towards the bottom that shows like other smaller algos. Um, I haven't added that yet, but I will as soon as possible so you can see every little detail about this GPU. But really what you want to do is you want to compare the data that you're getting with this one, right? So you, you open up this 3060 post on Reddit or Voscoin Talk and then open up my 3060 Ti post on Reddit or Voscoin Talk. And you want to compare the two and you can see which algos are locked out or which algos are, are getting 50% hit. Um, compared, you know, comparing the two against each other. So, not all algos are locked, but it is definitely something I would urge caution, like in building a six GPU rig out of nothing but 3060s or eight eight GPU rig. 
maybe 3060 Ti, 3080 would be the better one if you really want to go with NVIDIA. Uh, the 3070 and the 3060 Ti are pretty much the same. Uh, if you're going to be gaming mostly, then the 3070 might have a better edge. But if you're going to be just building a whole new rig out of these GPUs, maybe consider the 3060 Ti or the 3080 rather than the 3060. If there's a BIOS that comes out that unlocks the performance of this GPU, I would be more than happy to feature or provide that data or information to you. But as of right now, there's not one. So we just have to be patient, hang out. Maybe there won't be one at all. Maybe NVIDIA's accomplished what they wanted to do. Uh, but it's, it's not really making gamers happy. I can tell you that right now, speaking to other gamers and being a gamer myself, it's, this is not a move that's making gamers happy. Congratulations, you released the mining specific line. But it, it's really, you just need to get your supply in check and you need to do better and manufacturers need to do better of mitigating bots and scalpers online. If they can buy you know, 30 cards in a matter of seconds while one person is barely able to get to check out, that's a problem and they need to fix that. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the links in the description to the data that I got either on Reddit or Voscoin Talk if it's not up on Reddit. Um, check out links in the description to parts and hardware that I would recommend as well as affiliate links to help support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, like dogelord.com. Uh, that link will take you to our store where you can buy merchandise like Red Panda Mining, Serpent X Collection, Savage Mine, so on and so forth. And everything you do helps support the channel and I greatly appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.